All righty, take number three. So today we are going to be talking about assembly models. Um, here we see we have our assembled uh, piston housing all completed. We have our little crankshaft, we have our cylinder, and we have our piston in our cylinder. And ultimately, this is what we are working towards, right? We're creating each one of these individual models, and each one of those individual models is going to come together to our assembly. The other very cool thing about assemblies is we can animate them to show how these uh, systems work, right? So I can go ahead, and if I build this properly, I can hit my animate button, I can hit play, and what we should see is this piston cycle. So we can see it goes all the way up, it's going to cycle all the way down, and then it's going to begin cycling the opposite direction all the way back up and all the way down. And this is ultimately what we are working towards. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get to this point once you have all of your models done. So now that you have all your models done, in order to create an assembly, let's go ahead and let's open up an assembly. Just like you create a part or a drawing, we're going to hit the plus sign in the bottom left-hand corner, and we're going to select this time, create assembly. What that's going to do is it's going to bring up a blank uh, page for us where we're able to insert all of our individual parts. So let's go up top to insert. And in there, you should see all the parts for your piston assembly. We're going to go ahead and click the part and click to place the part. Click, drag, click, click, drag, click, click, drag, click, click, drag, click. Click it, bring it out, and then there are two others, the cap, and the piston. Great. So... Now I have every component, and hit the green check mark, now I have every component needed uh, to create my assembly. So up top here, you're going to see we have a bunch of different mates, and all of these different mates are going to be used to help uh, fasten our assembly. Now, depending on how you want your assembly to operate depends on how you are going to fasten it. So... Um, in this case, there are a couple of components that we don't want to move. We want them to stay solid. In order for them to stay solid, we want to make sure that we uh, select the correct uh, mating tool. So in this case, we're going to start first with our fastened mating tool. So everyone go ahead and click fastened mating tool. Now, the way that these mating tools work is we first want to click what we want to move. So in that case, it's going to be this one inch log, um, log shaft. I'm going to click the corner of that cylinder. And then second, we want to click where we want to move it to. So in this case, the log shaft is going to insert into the piston head. So I'm going to go ahead over here and I'm going to click the edge of the piston head. And you're going to see that that's going to place it exactly where I want it. Go ahead and hit the green check mark, and that will place your part. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to attach this little end cap here to this little log shaft right here. And that is also going to be done using a fastened mate. So I am going to click what I want to move, which is this end cap, with where I want to move it to, which is right there. And you're going to see if I hit the green check mark that that also placed beautifully. Great. So I am going to click away from our fastened mate because the next mate that we're going to use is actually a revolute mate. These revolute mates are used uh, in parts that need to rotate or spin. So this being a piston or a piston assembly, there are a lot of, I would say, spinning or moving parts, right? So the first thing that we're going to attach is this shaft into this hole. Um, in order to do that, I am going to go ahead and I am going to click my Revolute Mate. And in this case, we are putting the longer end of the shaft through. So I am going to click first what I want to move. And then I am going to click where I want to move it. So that I'm going to click right there. Now... One thing you're going to notice is that it entered in the wrong direction, and that's super easy to fix just by clicking flip primary axis. And you can see that that corrected it, and I can hit my green check mark to place it. 
The next thing that I'm going to do is actually not a revolute, but it is a fastened mate. This crank right here, a part of the crankshaft, uh, is actually solid and does not move. It is physically attached to this piece right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the fastened mate. I'm going to click the part that I want to move, and I'm going to click where I want to move it to. So I'll click right there. I'll hit flip primary axis so it's pointing the correct direction, and then I'll hit my green check mark. Good. Good. The next part that we are going to place is going to be this part right here with the cap. And this is going to be done using a Revolute Mate as it does need to spin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click what I want to move, which is that. And I'm going to click where I want to move it, which is right there. And I'm going to flip the axis so that it is pointing the correct direction. You're going to notice that the end cap is not currently here. But as soon as I hit that green check mark, it is going to place that for me. All right, the next part that we're going to place is going to be this part of the crankshaft. And we're going to be using a Revolute Mate to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click what I want to move. And I'm going to click where I want to move it to. I'm going to flip my primary axis. Oh, oops, oops. Sorry, Revolute Mate. I'll click what I want to move and where I want to move it. Cool. Sorry, I clicked that wrong. Perfect. So now we have that Revolute Mate set and we can hit the green check to place that. There is more or less one final thing, one final piece to the puzzle and that is the actual piston head. So we're gonna start first with a Revolute to get it attached to this crank, and then we're gonna use a slider mate to get it um, attached into the cylinder. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click what I want to move, which is the piston. I'll click right there, and I'm gonna click where I want to move it to, which is right there. I'm gonna flip the axis so it is in the correct direction. We see once again that the log is sitting out here, but as soon as we hit the green check, it's gonna find its final home. There is one last piece to this puzzle, and that is our slider mate. So I'm going to click the slider mate. I'm going to click what I want to move, which is the outside edge of the cylinder. I'm gonna click where I want to move it to, which is the inside edge of this cylinder. And the cylinder, and the cylinder. And that is going to place everything together for me. So once I hit that green check, it will set everything in stone. So here you can see we have our finished assembly, but there's really only one way to tell if we put it together correctly. So let's go ahead and let's animate that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to my very first Revolute, which is this guy back here, and I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to select Animate. Let me orient it for us. And I'm going to press play. And as long as I did everything correctly, this should do a full cycle all the way to the top and a full cycle all the way back down. This is exactly what I am looking for. Once you have this assembly created, you are able to go ahead and create your assembly drawing, which is simply going to be um, your assembly front, top, side, and isometric view. Awesome, so now that we have this assembled and now that you've practiced with your animations, you are good to go. Until next time.